A new tool meant to reduce crashes caused by speeding is now on El Paso's busiest roadways. It's called a variable speed limit. It was activated this week. Diana Casillo is live in central El Paso to explain more. And Diana, this is an area where is known for congestion. That's right, Estela. Now you can see US 54 behind me. Now this area near the Bridge of the Americas is often congested. That's why the, Opa the Texas Department of Transportation has activated and implemented this new safety measure. It may seem like your typical speed limit sign, but this is the first of its kind in El Paso and in the state. The variable speed limit system detects a reduction in speed by traffic, usually caused by congestion or by a crash, and that activates the reduction of speed on regulatory signs up to 10 miles per hour. The variable speed limit is now active on US 54, from Cassidy Road to I-10, only on the southbound lanes. TxDOT says this area is often congested with traffic, primarily due to its proximity to Boda, one of the busiest ports of entry in the city. This tool is meant to help prevent crashes, especially those caused by speeding. The variable speed limit is important because speed is the number one contributing factor to crashes in Texas. But it's also a common factor for crashes in our city. According to the Texas Department of Transportation, there were nearly 4,000 crashes involving speeding back in 2023, which resulted in 30 deaths. Now, the variable speed limit is also meant to help drivers lower their speed during those weather conditions. Reporting in Central El Paso, Diana Castillo, KTSM 9 News. Okay, Diana, though the system, the speed limit is fully automated, but an operator can adjust it if needed and necessary. Diana did reach out to police to see how they would help enforce this, but we have not yet heard back.